folks. Trapper Hat Johnny here. Look at this weather. A little blowy, but the sky cleared. June the 23rd. We had heavy rains yesterday, and we had heavy rains this morning. Uh, now the sky's cleared. I think it's going to get really humid. Uh, but this breeze is going to keep that humidity down for the time being anyhow. So what I wanted to do is give you an update on my roof project. I've been working on it for about a month now. I can only get maybe a day or two here and there to, to do this project. But Odin and I want to let you guys know the progress that we've made. So I'm going to go up on the roof in a minute here. But first, I just want to ask all you good people out there to please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Because it really helps me when I do these videos. Okay? Thank you. Let's go up on the roof. What do you think of my shirt? I've had this shirt for a few years now. Okay, as you can see, and I'm going to speak loud because the wind is uh, much stronger up here than it is at ground level. So I got one panel left to put in over there which I have laying here on the porch roof. I just got to get some, I got to get a proper uh, saber saw blade so I can cut the panel for that uh, chimney. Uh, the roof vents are semi done. Actually, to be more technical, that's flashing. But I'm going to modify them to accept roof vents because I can't find the Andura roof vents. So there, that's that. There's one roof end over there. You can see how I got it cut open. I got to do some more cutting on that uh, flashing to accept the roof vent. Oh, my hat just blew off. And as you can see, there's like those white stickers. They're just uh, product stickers. I didn't peel them off while I was laying the roof. But they'll come off on their own. I got to go back up on the roof anyhow to finish. I can do it at that point. So what I got to do is maybe I can get a sheet of plywood. Just one second, folks. I'll be back there in a go. moment. For a moment there, I thought I had to lay down a couple of sheets of plywood, but I can do this instead. And then I'll explain the plywood in a moment. Ugh. There we go. So as you can see, I got to do this here section here yet. And then I got to do it along the ridge. I got my ridge cap. So I got to finish strapping. I don't have enough strapping. So I got to run strapping on both sides of the ridge. <clears throat> then I'll have to run strapping down the center of the ridge. Then I got to cut, I believe it's going to be 10 inch strips of panel to go from here to go from here up to my ridge and then I cap it with my ridge cap and I don't know how well that's going to show but over there is my rental house uh, the roof is still good on that one and they were B grade shingles too but I just might do that house over in the same product this Andura and then of course I have to do the porch roof yet which I'm gonna do with Andura so very carefully there so now the idea about using the plywood you can make what what I would call a sled depends on the pitch of your roof you can do a sled lays down the ribs of the panel or you can just lay down a sheet of plywood and that's going to be your walking board that way you don't cave in your panels now get down off this roof So the 
projects getting there. Like I say, I'm going to give myself two days to complete this project, but it might be a couple of more days before I can get to it, maybe three. So I'm going to be give myself that little bit of a leeway, two days to complete this project. Hopefully I can do it in one. Depends on the time of morning I can get out here. And once again, there's just a scan around. And this porch roof, I have to do it as well in this Undura product. I'm going to strap it out and then lay down my Undura. And I will show you what's left of my supplies in just a moment. Now, I'll show you what I've got left of the material that I bought. So if you recall from the earlier video, this stack of material was probably about this high, 70 sheets. Now I'm, I got, I believe it's 13 sheets left, 13 sheets of the uh, Endura panel. And like I was saying, to finish the, uh, the peak, I got to cut 10 inch strips. Um, I did a quick math, I just quickly ran the numbers. It's going to take a total of six sheets to complete the peak. Take a total of six cut at 10 inch about 10 inch strips crossways and this here is the and that's the ridge cap but also with this what I'm gonna end up doing is buy more of the ridge cap and on the edge I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it from the roof to the to the fascia and use that as a uh, deflect the wind. So I have to buy more strapping as well. Uh, I have four four lengths of strapping left. I think I'm going to end up buying two bundles that'll give me 24 pieces that's one by three by eight uh, I can always use although I'll have some strapping left over it I can always use that on other projects stuff like that so I, that's what I gotta do I've got to buy two more bundles of one by three by eight strapping so that's gonna be 24 so and I got four still so it's gonna give me 28 pieces of strapping and then as well I had also gotten mixed up. I thought I was going to have to buy more of these uh, Andura color matching screws. I figured I probably needed about another four to five boxes because there's 55 in each. 55 screws in each box. And my wife said, well, John, you got a whole case of, of them and sitting on the kitchen floor. And sure enough, <laughs> so I saved a... Saved a lot of money. Just to buy four boxes would have been around $100 in itself. So I got lots of these left over. So I'm good there. So, there you have it. That's what's left of my Andura panels. Like I said, I need six sheets cut to finish the roof. And I'll have uh, about seven sheets 
left over. I don't think that's going to be enough to finish the porch. It might, but I don't think it will. But I'm just worried about the main house first. So, let's go over and stand over there in the shade. Get out of this sunlight. Well, there you have it, folks. So hopefully sometime in the next uh, two or three days, I'll have this project done. Hopefully, hopefully. And just as a side note, I want everybody to know, my wife and I, we're doing this on our own. Nobody's come around to help. Nobody offered to help. And I have to be totally honest, we never asked for help either. This is a project my wife and I are working on together. I've been up on the roof doing the measuring and the cutting and the fastening. My wife's been bringing material over to the ladder and we lift it up onto the roof and go from that point. So this is a project that her and I have been working on. And of course, Odin being the four dog, you know, he has to give the stamp of approval. So there you have it folks. Okay folks. This is Trapper Hat Johnny, wishing you a good day and be good to each other. Bye-bye, folks.